Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about DocuSign and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you create a DocuSign document? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, a real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to create a DocuSign document anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that it's not reasonable to run all over town with paper documents to have them signed. So with DocuSign, you can easily send the document through email and have it signed and in your inbox within a few minutes. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your DocuSign account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my DocuSign account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to create a DocuSign document, first, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to upload the document. After you've uploaded the document, you're going to go ahead and arrange the signatures and the data within the document. After that, you're going to send the document and wait for it to be signed. Once it's signed, you're going to get an email confirmation from DocuSign saying the document's ready. So in order to upload your document, first, you're going to click right here on the blue start button. Okay. Once you click there, you're going to get the option to go ahead and upload your document. So this is where we can create that. Click on upload. Okay. Next, you want to choose where you're going to get the document from. So you can pull it from your Google Drive, Dropbox, or you can do what I do and just pull it from my desktop. Okay. I pulled up the document. It's uploaded. Okay. Now the document's uploaded. So now we've created a document in DocuSign. So next we want to go ahead and open this box recipients. Okay. So now we need to choose who's going to be signing it. So we can go ahead and just type in the name and email address of the person we would like to sign. Also, if we are going to be signing as well, we can click right here. If we're the only signer, if not, we can go ahead and add our name on the additional recipient. So let me go ahead and add in the recipient now. Okay. I added in a recipient. If you're going to have more than one signer, you can just keep adding in by clicking on add recipient. Okay. When you add another recipient, it's going to color code them. So this person's in yellow, this person's in blue. It's not really relevant right now, but when we're signing the document, you can see it will be relevant. So let me go ahead and trash this because we're only going to have one signer on this. Okay. Next you can go ahead and add a message that way, whoever receives this document, they're not going to just get an email and not know what the heck the document's for. So let me go ahead and enter in a message. This is the document sign it now. Okay. Now we're ready to go ahead and create our document in DocuSign by clicking on next here at the bottom, right? However, before we go any further, I want to go back to the recipients. Okay. So here we are in the recipients again, before we move on, I want to let you know that if you're going to be adding in more than one person, you can set the signing order. So let me go ahead and add another recipient and show you what I mean. Okay. So I added another recipient and if you look here next to the colors, you're going to see one and two. So what this means is this person right here is going to receive the document first. Once they are completed and they've completely signed the document, then a copy is going to go out to this person. So you can rearrange that how you want. So you can put this one as number one and this one as number two, or if you want, you can go ahead and click in here and make this a one and this a one. And what's going to happen is they're both going to receive the document at the very same time. So let me go ahead and click on next. Okay, guys. So now here we can go ahead and continue creating this document in DocuSign. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and try to find the fields that you're going to fill out. So for example, this one here is a date of birth. So first, what you're going to do is choose the signer by clicking up here on the left top, and it's going to see a drop down, and then just choose the signer. As you can see, the color code matters because this one is yellow and the other signer was green. I deleted the other signer. We're only having one on this one, but you need to make sure it is the correct signer that you're working on. So this one's in yellow. And what we're going to do here is since this is a date of birth, if you know the date of birth, you can simply just drag a text file in right here, and then you can go ahead and up here on the right, add in the text. So let's say December 31st, 1965. Okay. And now you can see it's added into the document. Now, if you don't actually know the date of birth, you can just make a box, a text box just to fill it in. And we'll put the text box right there. And then we're going to leave that blank. And then that way the signer can go ahead and click in there and then fill it out themselves. Now, if you made a mistake, just click on the box and you can see that blue line around it. And then here on the right, you're going to scroll down and then you can go ahead and delete that field. And you see it just deletes right away and we can move the text box right on over. Also, another tip is if you have a long document, sometimes what I'll do is I will have the signer initial all documents, all pages of the document. So this document's four pages. So on the bottom corner of every page, I'll have them initial it. And that way it confirms that they received every single page and I wasn't pulling anything sneaky and only sending two pages of the four page document. So I'll just drag those initials right in there. Also, another one of the fields that I get a lot of questions about is the checkbox. So for example, let's see here. So this kind of looks like a checkbox. Let me move myself over. Okay. So here we are one, two, three, four different options right there. So if these were selections for your signer, you can easily just grab the checkbox right here, drag it over right there. And we just bring in four of them. There's two. Okay. And the fourth one. Okay. So that way, when the signer receives the document that we created in DocuSign, they can go ahead and click into the document and check it. Now, if there's four options, 
you can actually check the box for yourself. And that way, when they receive the document, it's already checked. So for example, if we want this one checked, we just click on the box. And then here on the right, you're going to see a drop down and then click on checkbox values and then just check it right here. And as you can see on the document, it now has the check mark. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look for the signature line. So we'll just scroll all the way to the bottom. This is a passport application. So there's no actually a signature line. So what I'm going to do is use this one as a signature line. And all we're going to do is grab this right here, signature, and just drag it right down right there for the line. And we'll drop it right there. And you can resize it by being on these little dots. So make it a little smaller to kind of fit in. And a lot of times you'll want the date that they signed it. So you can easily just grab the date signed right here and drag it next to the signature. Sometimes it's going to be below. Sometimes it's going to be over to the right. Okay. So now that looks pretty good. So I think that we've done a good job on creating this document. Also with a document like this, where there's a lot of fields to fill out, you can go ahead and just fill it out for them. So for example, this is a name. So we'll grab the name and just grab it right in here. And then the date of birth, there's no field for that. So we can grab a text, drag in date of birth, and that way they can go ahead and type it in. And same thing, mother and father, we'll just drag in a text box right here and so on and so forth. All right. Now that we've created the document in DocuSign, we can go ahead and send it by clicking on this yellow send button here on the bottom right. Okay. A quick second later, the page refreshes. Now you can see the document that we just created in DocuSign is right down here. So now we're just waiting for the signer to sign off on it. Now, once they've signed the document, we're immediately going to receive a copy of the document that's signed in our inbox. Also, we can come in here to the document and download it from the file. So what you do is go to agreements right here on the top. Okay. Once we're in agreements here on the left side, you want to go ahead and click on completed as a little check mark next to it. Okay. Once the document's completed, you can look over here to the right and you can go ahead and download a copy of the document that we created with DocuSign. Okay. So once you click there, it's going to ask you how you want to download it. Okay. Certificate of completion is a form from DocuSign. I usually don't download that, but you can, if you want. Now, if you have multiple documents, you can go ahead and check those off, or you can go ahead and combine all of them into one single document, but it's going to include the certificate of completion as well. And then next you want to go ahead and download, and then a PDF download would happen and it's going to be on your computer. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to create a document in DocuSign, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.